also come down. That's some bitter cold temperatures we're expecting here across the country. It is tough, Denise. You know, I tell you, I grew up uh, coming to shore in Stone Harbor, but here in AC, they got a great venue here at the Water Club. We are talking about this bite in the air, this Arctic air. When you factor in the wind chill, uh, it's down to 31. That's what it feels like in Denver. Just a slushy mix here in Philadelphia. The north had a lot more accumulation. South had very little. Uh, so a wide range of amounts in just a short distance. Bundle up because when you get a number like this, it's what it feels like on your skin. And when it's down below zero, which it will be tonight and again tomorrow morning, frostbite can happen here in less than 30 minutes. The sun's out and it's uh, still terrifying. I hate to see what this is like at nighttime, but I guarantee it's terrifying. Uh, I don't want to get too close to those guys, even though they just ate. Mostly cloudy and uh, pretty much overcast everywhere and not improving. So it's just a little bigger than normal. It's at the closest point to the Earth and that coincides with the full moon. That's why we're calling it the super moon. But there it is and there it goes. A tail as old as time. A song as old as rhyme. Oh, look at oh, you. My. Beauty and the Beast. We can tell you've got daughters. Ah, uh, yes. Daughters, and that is on demand, so I see that quite <laughs> often. If you miss getting outside today, Dave Warren, you're telling us we have one more oh, chance. One more chance, maybe just not quite as warm. All right. Well, it's a little windy today, too. It was a little Nothing chilly like in that. the beginning. Yeah, then it really beginning. warmed up. Turned mm -hmm. out to be a nice afternoon. Now, tomorrow, maybe not quite as warm, but by the time we're dealing uh, right about now, we'll have the rain coming in. Here's some things to look for. Yes, it hit 60 today, well above average. The average high temperature when we normally hit 60 is Tuesday, April 5th. Just about a month away from spring and a little under a month away from where we time the clocks forward, you get to take advantage of the later sunshine. Sunshine out there today, a lot of people enjoying it. Andrew was one of them, but look what happens now. It's getting cooler. 60 down to 45 and 40. We'll rebound a little bit tomorrow. Not quite up to 60, though, so maybe not quite as warm. Then down to 38 degrees on Monday. We will watch this temperature closely because we have some weather coming in tomorrow night, and we'll keep a close eye on the temperatures. Looks like much of the area is seeing rain because we're so warm ahead of this storm. It's still pretty warm tonight. If you step out this evening, just a light coat. The breeze died down. The temperatures will take a while to drop, so enjoy it for now. We're up to 60, down to 56 right now. Light breeze about 10 miles an hour. The storm tomorrow, it's one of two we're dealing with this week. This is it right now. It'll really intensify rapidly as it moves through St. Louis and parts of uh, Kentucky and West Virginia. But by the time it gets here, we'll deal with just steady rain. Now look at the timing of this here. This is by 5 o'clock tomorrow night. That rain moves in. It's pretty much rain everywhere. The computer forecast has been consistent with this, except maybe trying to give a brief mix up across the Lehigh Valley. It looks like it starts as rain, and this latest forecast takes it out quickly, so that cold air can't get here fast enough. So by Sunday night, it's dying down. By the time you wake up Monday morning, it's just cloudy out there. All the rain's pushed to the south, so it doesn't really look like it's much of an impact there for Monday's rush hour as you step outside there. It'll be clearing. Now, this is the complex storm we're dealing with for the midweek. This will be Tuesday to Wednesday. Two areas of low pressure developing. There's some colder air in place, so I have a bit of a concern here initially because we're seeing a little bit of a mix, plus this northeast wind. I have a full moon on Monday, so by Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll get that consistent northeast wind. We might have some coastal flooding issues there for those two days. Uh, but it could be a brief mix Tuesday to early Wednesday, especially up north and west because this cold air is in place and you're getting the warm air being pulled up uh, uh, over top of it. So you could get that snow which melts and then refreezes. It's just brief though because by Wednesday morning, look at how warm it gets. That coastal storm dies out and this big storm develops. It's to our west. It pulls up a lot of warm air. The temperature's soaring into the 50s and 60s with some heavy rain there by Tuesday and throughout the day Wednesday. So what to expect, that brief mix late Tuesday or early Wednesday, especially north and west, watch the roadways, watch the temperatures. Heavier rain Wednesday, coastal flooding could be a concern there that day too, so watch those high tides. We have a full moon Monday, so the tides will be higher than normal. And now it'll all be moving out by Thursday, but a colder breeze comes in, so the temperatures from the 50s and 60s back down into the 40s and 30s. Uh, tomorrow, we are warm again, mid to low 50s, but there's those showers developing 
developing late and a period of rain coming in about 5 to 10 o'clock. It clears out by Monday. The seven day forecast shows that it's a cooler breeze. Now, sun to clouds on Tuesday, late Tuesday, we get that mix briefly, but then we're into rain 50 up to 60. That rain coming in mostly Wednesday night to very early Thursday. Now, look at the temperatures are back into the mid to low 40s and down below freezing next weekend. Yeah, there's some snowflakes around. So. Mm. One weekend we enjoy the warm weather, next weekend it's back. Crazy weather. I know. Up, down, up, up down. down. All right, thanks.